Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I am going to um, spend a little time with you today doing a scrap buster challenge. So, uh, Melina at Me Crafty Scrappers um, does a challenge, and you're supposed to use what you have on your desk, and she gives you some other parameters. Um, and this week she was making these medallions, dangles that you can use to decorate a page or put on like the spine uh, of a scrapbook. Um, looking around to see if I have any of my journals laying around and of course I do not. But um, anyway, it was really cute and she showed, wait, here's one I might be able to show you on, um, how even like on the tags, whoops, and things, um, you might want to add them to a page. So anyway, her example <laughs> was cuter um, about how you might use these, but she was even talking about then if you ended up like wanting to just attach it to a page. She had some fabric tabs on some of her pages, but honestly, that would be really cute too, like attaching it there, that little secret hidden spot I have on that page. Um, anyway, lots of ideas and um, of ways to use these, and you can kind of mass make them. This one, I just have a little piece of crocheted ribbon on. So I'm going to make a few and I hope you'll hang around with me while I do that. Um, I did to save time. I went ahead and punched a bunch of circles, but she was making hers and I'm doing mine the same one and a half inches. So you just need to punch a bunch of circles with the scraps that you have. Oh, oh one thing I was going to do and she suggested this. I don't know if she made any like this is if you have some collage master board that might be a really pretty, some pretty ones too. So I was waiting to punch these until I was on camera to um, kind of get the idea. I wouldn't mind getting down to that pup dog um, and maybe make them one with him on the front. Let's see if we can get there. <laughs> All right, cute. All right, so obviously I'm easily distracted. Um, what you wanna do is have lots of circles and you need papers that you like for the fronts and then um, some papers you think would be good for the backs because you know you will see the backs if, if they're attached and dangling. So, and then just some plain card stock or cardstock you don't want to use to go in the center so that um, you they're nice and sturdy and I thought that was a really good point because you could even do like lighter weight papers as long as you you know do, do the layering so that they feel really good and they're not going to rip and tear so um let's see let's just make a few we'll jump in um oh I guess other supplies, glue, some distress ink. I'm using these little bulb clips, um, eyelets. And if you want to um, put any ribbon or lace, she did some with some sari silk that was really pretty to you. So um, I'm going to just show you, seriously, is the easiest project. Um, but... That, that then has, you know, some big impact that you can use lots of different ways. And I did have some Tim Holtz scraps. Um, and she had the same, I think she had some of the same paper um, that are good maybe for the back, just a kind of a vintagey look. Um, but again, use anything you like. The, the back could be just as pretty a paper as the front because again you see both sides you could you could decorate both sides up and then it doesn't matter which way it turns um i am i didn't have the i don't have the same sticker she has and this is what's great is you really should use just what you have on hand i had 
um, let's see, this Tim Holtz uh, clipping sticker book. She had like one word sticker stickers, which obviously I think would really work well. Um, but I'm thinking if I want to, I could just cut a word out. Both of these were small enough to fit on my circles the way they came. It says brave girl and loving heart. This one, because I already have the Afghan hound there, I don't think I'm going to put a word on. Or maybe I'll put a word on the back. Some words. Um, and see if I can think of something or find one that would be cute. Oh, you know what? Herman. Ha! We'll just assume this puppy dog's name is Herman. He's an Afghan hound. I think that'll be funny. Um, and if no one gets my sense of humor, it doesn't really matter. I think it's funny. All right. I'll put it on the back like I had planned originally. Um, I do tend to add a little glue when I'm using these stickers only because um, once I've touched them and started inking around the edges, I feel like they may not stick very well. So you do need something to punch holes and to set your eyelet with. And a video I just did, I was telling you guys how my crocodile is not working. And it is working to set these tiny eyelets. So that's a good thing. Um, where I was struggling with it is getting it to set... Um, the, the bigger eyelets, it's it's sticking, the little square sticking. Not quite sure why. All right, so this one came together really easy. And again, you could add um, more little pieces if you wanted to, ribbons, those types of things. But I'm just gonna make a bunch of these and see how they turn out. Um, and not spend a lot of time overthinking adding extras because when you get ready to use them, you can also clip a ribbon to the bulb clip. Um, that let me use this for the back, um, you know, that coordinates with, with that journal or that bookmark or tag that you're making. So it's also, again, I think fun sometimes to have these and have them on hand. And then when you know where you're going to be using them, uh, individualize it even a little bit more. All right. So this time I just went with this pretty patterned, um, kind of tealy paper to go on the back of the birds. And of course I do want to think about where I want the hole because I don't want to mess up my bird. All right, that worked. And one thing um, that I discovered is I've been trying to um, remember to do the eyelet before I, I do the words or add other decorations because sometimes I don't have as much room as I thought I did. Um, so if you do that first, you kind of have a sense of what you're working with. All right. And these words say love greatly. So again, I appreciate um, super easy crafting projects like this that go well with um, the, the style of junk journaling I like to do. So I appreciated the Scrap Buster. Um, it's always fun to see what other people come up with and um, their ideas. And it gives you um, a, a good jumping off point um, you get the juices flowing. Um, and it's also fun to have something that, that, that isn't difficult um, or that you don't have to fiddle with too much. I know um, that sometimes I just, I need something where I feel like I've, I've accomplished something. And I also love 
to use up my scraps. So, I hope you guys will leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you like seeing me make these types of extras for my larger journals and projects, um, and if you find it helpful, um, sometimes when I watch other people's videos to get ideas, I think about, okay, and now how am I going to change that to make it my own? And in this case, um, it, I guess it just depended on what papers and different things you pick up to use. Um, kind of makes it your own. But I just loved them just the way she did them. And I happen to have um, a lot of the same supplies. Um, the eyelets, the little bulb clips, those types of things. So I'm just going for it. Um, and again, appreciating and loving the idea. I think I'm going to do, um, see how quick they come together? I think I'm going to do another one, ooh, another bird, um, and use a different type of um, piece of fabric or ribbon to show you what that looks like. I was even thinking it would be fun to, um, now I am talking about making it a little more my own. Um, maybe some beads. I didn't get any beads out. And technically, I guess that's cheating since I don't have any beads. If I were to do that, because I don't have any beads on my desk. And they're supposed to use um, the supplies um, on your desk. Um, but that would be cute to have some little... Um, a little dangle of beads or a bead um, on here as well. I could see that being super cute. All right. And I have been, as I've been inking these, doing the front and the back again so that both sides look finished. All right. And I had... Oops, it's a star. I don't think I want a star. It's the blue one. Look, that's pretty. I have all these eyelets that I've had for years that um, I like the opportunity to um, use them up some. Reach it over for a piece of fabric or yarn. All right, I grabbed a ribbon. That's okay. Um see how it does this is a little unraveled let's see if it looks okay trying to kind of bunch it together hmm. yeah I'm not really liking that what I may have to do is um, let me see if I cut it long enough um, that will not. So we'll add some thickness, but we'll see how it does. And I'm going to add some words to this one too to give myself a chance. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, true friend. That's a cute one. All right, and a little more glue so that sticker won't go anywhere. Look how sweet that is. All right, so these are the ones that we've made. I had these two before I got on camera, and now I have this one. All right, so I hope this will inspire you to make some of these little medallions um, for your projects as well. Um, and go give me, Crafty Scrapper, a, a subscribe and a like um, if you're not already subscribed to her channel because she's awesome. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.